Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw, Editorial Director at TigerFitness.com and Muscle and Brawn Nutrition CEO. Guys, I got a question from Anders who wants to know if you can build strength using low frequency. And by low frequency, he means training each lift only once a week. Before I get into that topic, guys, this is hashtag AskBHUD, the big hairy ugly dude. If you have a question, check out the link below. Submit your question via that link. It comes straight to my inbox. And the best questions I turn into videos just like this. So, low frequency. Can you build squat, bench, and deadlift training, training them only once a week? We have, we have gone from the 80s where guys were training body parts once a week. Um, power lifters um, were training uh, lifts once a week. Not all power lifters, but some, a lot of them, to the modern era where frequency training is all of a sudden everything. And if you don't train with frequency, you are an idiot, a fool, insert whatever generalization. The reality is this. You can make good gains on frequency. You can make good gains. You can make good gains on training uh, lifts only once a week. I have done both. I spent the first 10 years of my life, actually the first 11 years of my life, training with a split, all natural, all natural, training lifts only once a week. Um, most bodybuilders I know, naturals, and some unnaturals, but naturals, I've met them all, from Mr. North Carolina to Mr. Minnesota, um, naturals all over the spectrum. I train with them at Tiger Fitness Gym. I've trained with them all over the country. Most of them use splits, and they are pound for pound as strong as I am. So when I tell you you can make strength gains on a split, it's not theoretical like all these other channels. I have trained in the last 30 years and mainly in the last five years with hundreds upon hundreds, top stars, top natural bodybuilders, top natural female lifters, top natural power lifters, natural and otherwise. But really, this pertains to naturals. Um, I have trained with these guys. They are pound for pound as strong as I am. Now, obviously, these guys are the genetic elites, but one could argue I'm the genetic elite as well in powerlifting because of my strength levels, because I have a chance to be in the top 10 all time over the age of 50. So therefore, I could be considered a genetic elite. Whether I am or not is up for debate. But the point here, the point here is that 98, 99% of these naturals are as strong as I am, pound for pound, and they use only splits. They train these lifts, bench press, squats, and deadlifts once a week. Now, the pendulum is swinging a little bit. The pendulum is swinging a little bit, and guys are training more twice a week and three times a week because of Lane Norton's fat and, and all the other uh, you know full body workouts that I advocate and upper lower splits I advocate and whatever. But the point here to remember is this. Train the way that feels right for you, your recovery, whatever. If you, if you have the mental fortitude, if you have the drive, if you have the heart, if you have the heart and the drive, you can achieve whatever the heck you want strength-wise. Now the important that that's the important part to remember. You also want to remember that whether you start out with frequency training or start out with a split, you have to evolve your training intelligently based on needs. So when you use a workout program, whether Wendler's or starting strength or a split or whatever, don't go into it and say, if this doesn't work, I'm going to jump ship and use a different program. Say, if this doesn't work, what part isn't working? What part can I modify, tweak, improve? That's the way you have to be as you become an intermediate lifter. Don't worry so much about where you start, splits or bot, you know, frequency or whatever, rep ranges, sets, exercises. Tweak it to fit what your body is telling you, and you will be good. So it doesn't matter, splits, frequency, training, whatever, as long as you have it up here and in here, you are going to be successful. Many power lifters in the, in the history of powerlifting show this. Um, all the way up from the Lilla Bridges who train only uh, lifts um, once a week to um, power lifters of past, strongmen of past. Some of you use full body, some of you use upper lowers, some of you use splits. It's all about the drive and the heart. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the link below. 
If you've made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.